Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick to the end of the problem where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by x to the power of 2. So now these two are going to cancel out, and now I'm going to be left with x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, x to the power of x over x to the power of 2, that's going to equal x to the power of x minus 2, which is equal to 1. Now I'm going to take the natural log, or ln, on both sides. So now I have ln x to the power of x minus 2 is equal to ln 1. Now if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times ln a. So in this case, for ln x to the power of x minus 2, I can move x minus 2 to the front. So this would equal x minus 2 times ln x is equal to ln 1. So now, ln 1, this is actually equal to 0. So now I have x minus 2 times ln x is equal to 0. So now this is going to give me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0, and I also have ln x is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, all I have to do is simply add 2 on both sides, and I get x is equal to 0 plus 2, which is 2. So this is one solution. Now for ln x is equal to 0, I'm going to e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of 0. Now e to the power of ln x, the e and ln are going to cancel out, so now I'm left with x is equal to e to the power of 0, which is 1. So my two solutions are x equals 2 and x equals 1. So now to check, my equation is x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So my first solution is x equals 2, so now I have 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4, so I have 4 is equal to 4. This is right. Now my second solution is 1. So now I have 1 to the power of 1 is equal to 1 to the power of 2. 1 to the power of 1 is 1, and 1 to the power of 2 is also 1. So these two are right as well. So both my solutions are right. All right, so I have x to the power of 4 is equal to 10,000. So I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with x to the power of 4 is equal to 10,000. Now, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 10,000 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I'm going to be left with x to the power of 4 minus 10,000 is equal to 0. Now, x to the power of 4, I can rewrite as x to the power of 2 times 2, because 4 is equal to 2 times 2. And 10,000, I can rewrite as 100 squared. Now, let's see, go to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of m. So in this case, x to the power of 2 times 2 can write as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. So I have this minus 100 squared is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x squared and b is equal to 100. So now I have x squared plus 100 times x squared minus 100 
and this is equal to zero. So now this is going to give me two equations. I have x squared plus 100 is equal to zero and I have x squared minus 100 is equal to zero. All right, so first off for x squared plus 100 equals zero, I'm gonna first start by subtracting 100 on both sides. So now these two are gonna cancel out and now I will be left with x squared is equal to negative 100. Now I wanna cancel out this power of two, so I'm gonna take the square root on both sides. So now I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 100. Now the square root of negative 100, well first off the square root of x squared, these two simply cancel out. So I'm still going with x is equal to, now the square root of negative 100, this is the same thing as the square root of 100 times the square root of negative 1. Now if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imaginary number i. And the square root of 100, that's equal to positive or negative 10. So if x is equal to positive or negative 10, i. So this is, these are two of my solutions. So now for x squared minus 100 equals 0, I'm going to first start by adding 100 on both sides so that these two cancel out. Now I'll be left with x squared is equal to 100. Now I'm going to take the square root on both sides. These two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to the square root of 100, which is equal to positive or negative 10. So my four solutions to this problem are x equals 10, x equals negative 10, x equals 10i, and x equals negative 10i. So these are my solutions. All right, so I have 2 to the power of 100 minus 2 to the power of 99. So for my solution, first start with 2 to the power of 100 minus 2 to the power of 99. Now I'm going to first rewrite 100 here as 99 plus 1 because 100 is equal to 99 plus 1. So I have 2 to the power of 99 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 99. Now an important property of exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 99 plus 1. And I can think of a here as 2, m here as 99, and n here as 1. So this will get me to a to the power of m, so 2 to the power of 99 times a to the power of n, so times 2 to the power of 1. And I have this minus 2 to the power of 99. All right, so now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to factor out 2 to the power of 99. So now I have 2 to the power of 99 times well, 2 to the power of 99 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 99 is simply 2, minus 2 to the power of 99 divided by 2 to the power of 99 is 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 99 times 2 minus 1. Well, 2 minus 1, that's simply equal to 1, so I have 2 to the power of 99 times 1, and this is equal to 2 to the power of 99. So this is my answer. Now, I actually have a second method to solving this problem. So the second method... First start well off with 2 to the power of 100 minus 2 to the power of 99. Now, instead of rewriting 100 as 99 plus 1, I'm going to rewrite 99 as 100 minus 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 100 minus 2 to the power of 100 minus 1. Now, 100 minus 1, this is the same thing as 100 plus negative 1. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 100 plus negative 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 100 times 2 to the power of negative 1. Now, I can go ahead and factor out 2 to the power of 100 
So now I have 2 to the power of 100 times 2 to the power of 100 divided by 2 to the power of 100 is 1 minus 2 to the power of 100 times 2 to the power of negative 1 divided by 2 to the power of 100, simply just 2 to the power of negative 1. Now, this is equal to 2 to the power of 100 times 1 minus 2 to the power of negative 1 is 1 half. And 1 minus 1 half, that's simply equal to 1 half. So I have 2 to the power of 100 times 1 half. Now, if I have something in the form 1 over a, this is the same thing as a to the power of negative 1. So 1 over 2, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of negative 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 2 to the power of 100 times 2 to the power of negative 1, it's going to equal 2 to the power of 100 plus negative 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 99. So that's a, another method, but more complicated method of solving this problem.